Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you so much for coming here. And I want to introduce my two interpreters, Teresa and Carrie. Sorry, I have a female voice this afternoon. <laughs> so if you watch me, it'll be better. Don't listen to her. <laughs> First, I want to share my passion about doing this presentation. I do work for DOORS. I'm the statewide Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services Coordinator. And my job, my role, really helps me to present this special topic on best practices in employment. It applies to the deaf and hard of hearing community, the employers, and the people who are in the field of professionals who serve folks with disabilities. I believe that you already know the job challenges for deaf and hard of hearing people and what they have to face. You've often heard the term, hearing people don't understand me from our, our deaf constituents. They think that deaf people can't do this, or employers are not comfortable communicating with us. And the worst thing, oh my God, who's gonna pay for it? And it goes on and on. When I hear these things, and I share my passions with the deaf and hard of hearing community, our job is to try to teach people to, how to overcome these situations. We teach them how to compensate, work harder, prove themselves, prove that they are qualified for, to perform the necessary job duties. We at DOORS have wonderful counselors, people that help them, give them tools, and the support that they need. These people, who just happen to be deaf and hard of hearing, especially in the state of Maryland, we want to become independent taxpayers. My greatest passion is to see the employers drop that negative attitude toward everyone with disabilities. Not because it's the right thing to do, but because it's a positive attitude for all members of humanity. Now we've come a long way since we've heard that famous quote. Deaf people can do anything except hear. You've heard that before. <laughs> and the ADA has been here since 1990. However, we still have work to do to educate our society. Now what are deaf and hard of hearing people trying to do? We believe that they need to have better understanding of business needs and to create a formal mechanism and also low-cost methods to support employers in our efforts to save costs and have effective meaning of communication in the workplace. Many deaf are trying to regain faith and continue to overcompensate to try to prove themselves so that the company can have a successful experience in the workplace. Deaf employees and companies themselves are trying, seeing the new technology that's rapidly changing. Many are finding innovation, innovative solutions for communicating in the workplace. Then, once they experience that they can overcome communication barriers, you often see my personal favorite quote, oh, that expression loosely translated means, finally, they accept me. That's my passion. Choosing a winning strategy for employment success, that's where doors is, that's where we are best at, that, what we do best. We, the Rehabilitation Counselors of the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, RCDs, we often help the consumer to prepare and more often determine barriers, problems that can occur and help them by understanding their employer's concerns. Then we try to use strategies 
to minimize the identified barriers and analyze the needs of the employers. We find that employers of the deaf and hard of hearing and the hard of hearing people themselves, everyone must compromise. We believe that this can be a win-win situation. In fact, 90% of the time, I experience positive solutions. Because we also often give valuable tools that result in these winning strategies. And we have many expertise in education, business, and we believe in a proactive approach. Now, making it work. We have the passion to be creative, and we do believe in creating a great first impression, marketing yourself, but it's also your responsibility to show and tell people about using new technology, supporting and understanding the company budgets and their issues, helping address ling linguistic challenges and cultural differences, and also to show positive awareness about what a company needs to do to be successful. We encourage employers to be active, to find pooling resources for efficient ways to collaborate, both for the employee and the employers. And that will help eliminate or reduce obstacles which result in successful employment and ultimately business success. We do understand what is happening inside the mind of the employers. Therefore, we educate them about working with the deaf and hard of hearing employees. We give them resources that enable them to train and to hire these qualified workers. We also understand that the deaf and hard of hearing people face many challenges to employment. We give them tools to regain their self-confidence and to maximize their abilities. Lastly, we believe in ABLE. For a long time, it was believed that having a disability meant that society thought, oh, you can't do too many jobs. Our passion is to make them believe we can do anything except here. Don't forget, we usually have 90% of the other part of our body that can function just like everyone else's. So that's what we can do. The only true disability that I know of is a bad attitude. So thank you guys. <laughs>